Welcome back everyone, my name is Levin Wendy and we have a good news for all the GitHub users. Now if you are using GitHub from a long time, you know one thing. You can be a free user or you can be a paid user. You can call yourself as GitHub Pro. Now when you say you're a free user, that means you can access GitHub. You can have your repositories on GitHub. The only problem is all your repositories will be public. What if you want to have a private repositories and that's when you have to pay to get the private repositories or you can go with a pro plan. And now we got a notification from GitHub that you can be a free user and you will get unlimited private repositories. That's awesome, right? We all love GitHub because it provides you so many features. You can have multiple collaborators. We have third party APIs or third party applications which supports GitHub, right? In fact, when I work on AWS or AWS CodeStar, we get two options there. We have code commit or we have GitHub. And that's where I prefer to work on GitHub. So everyone loves GitHub. But then there was one issue, not everyone can pay for it. Example, let's say if you are a big company, of course, uh, you don't have any issue with paying for a big amount. But what about you are a startup? What if you are a freelancer? That's where problem starts because you don't want to pay for each and every service, right? Yes, it makes sense to pay for the cloud deployment because, you know, depending upon number of users you get, you'll be having a lot of uh, requests. So of course, you, you will be paying for the servers. But what about the code repositories? Yes, see, when you can pay for it, that's great. You can pay for it. But what if you have just started? And if you want to work with collaborators, maybe you have a team of three people. And that's where GitHub says, okay, so if you have in that condition, you can have a private repository. Is that too unlimited? There's only one problem. We'll talk about that problem in some time. Then there's a question. Why someone will go for the paid version when you have a free version available, which allows you to go for private repositories? In the paid version, you can have unlimited public repositories, unlimited private repositories, and unlimited collaborators. But in the free version, you will get unlimited public, you will get unlimited private repositories, but you can have maximum three collaborators. So it means only small companies or freelancers. The moment you talk about enterprise, they will be paying for it. And you know, it, it makes sense for them to pay for their projects, right? They have, they have a huge project to work on. Uh, they have a huge number of collaborators. So that's where they will be paying for it. Now what I'm talking about, again, we'll see that in the screen as well. How do you create a private repositories and how can you see the limitations there? But then this is the good news for all the people. I know in a lot of people, they moved from GitHub to GitLab after the Microsoft acquisition. Even I'm not a big fan of Microsoft, but then, you know, it was a good thing for Microsoft as well. They have a code repositories. They have a server of code repositories. Now they have added this new feature, which is you can make up private repositories. Let's see what happens in future. In fact, if you talk about the competitors of GitHub, which is GitLab, they already had this thing. You can have a private repositories on GitLab as well for free, of course. So, but then we also have that on GitHub now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. But before that, let's see that practical what I'm talking about. So when you go to GitHub and when you click on new repository here, you can see we can have a repository name time and I will say ABC. You can see we have two options now. We have public and private. Initially both were different. So when you click on public, it was free. But when you click on private, you need to pay for it. But now you can see you're not getting any option like that. It is not asking you for the payment. So with that, let's create on the repository and you can see we got our private repository and that too for free. There's only one issue here. Since you can see this account, which I'm using now, it's a free account. So the collaborators. So if you click on settings here, you can see if we have an option of, you can upgrade to GitHub Pro where you, you will get a lot of features. And if I click on collaborators for this particular repository, you can see, oh, okay. I just have to confirm once again, you can see maximum I have three collaborators. So of course I can invite people and then maximum it will be three. That's the only issue with the free access. But then what if you want to go for the paid one? So in that case, you will just search for this link, github.com slash pricing. You can see by default, when you are free, you will get unlimited public and private repositories. This is something new, which they have added. And then maximum, you can have three collaborators for the private repositories. But if you go for the pro version, you will get all the features. It depends, right? If you have a small team of let's say two or three people, and if you want to work on a project, I feel the free will be enough for you. But the moment you go for the end, if you go for a big project, then you have to pay for it. So that's the new update. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for, for the videos.